Hey there, where did you plan to be this Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time? Why not join us over at vonlive.tv slash packthepokeset with our special guest host this week. You don't want to miss it. Premises are hard to see. And that is just fine with me. Modus ponens is the plan. Serve you logic, I am. Hey, converted man here. Dear Father Spitzer, okay. please give us a foolproof argument for the existence of a creator. I'm assuming that means that a fool like me can understand. But I think maybe this is the bigger part, because they, <laughs> even they admit it's a tall order. But is there some proof <laughs> that atheists cannot deny? Thank you, Father. God bless you. Sylvia in Miami, Florida. So that would be the question. When discussing things like the, the existence of God with an atheist, mm -hmm. is there one particular argument that you find most effective? Oh, man, you love how he changed foolproof to most effective argument like yeah we don't we don't have a foolproof one i also like how he equivocated foolproof to try to make some sort of joke like oh it's like a fool like me could understand now that's not what foolproof means you nimrod come on you know and it's a tall order right like no it shouldn't shouldn't be that hard like even an atheist will see that this argument is just amazing right that's that which would be a foolproof argument right but we're going to equivocate on foolproof and then we're just going to go ahead and screw the whole idea of giving that argument but we're going to give a most effective argument what are we playing pokemon now hey vigilant christian never did a video on you guess I, it's about time i did so you have a video disagreement isn't hate and a lot of your fans agree with your position because woe to the Christian that disagrees with the LGBT person. Oh, I can't share my religion and not be called a bigot. <laughs> when your religion is full of bigotry, hey, if the shoe fits, wear it. Now, I could agree with you if only you actually cared about what the Bible really says and realized that homosexuality isn't in the Bible. I know the word is now, but it wasn't always. And what they mean by what they're saying has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. But who cares about history and facts when you can use the Bible and your religion to hide behind and continue your bigotry. Islam is as bad of a religion as any other religion in my view, but it is something that we can see right now, today, how religion can turn otherwise sane people to do other To do insane things. Why has it gone on so long that even the Old and New Testament have death, stoning, killing as acceptable, mandated ideas, and we still haven't gotten rid of those things? Let's answer a common theist question that has been posed what's wrong with me just believing what i want to believe is the belief of having a belief that is going to hurt you that that in and of itself has some wrong ideas in it do you have a question for our guest if so, leave in the comment section here below or come to the show this Friday and ask him yourself. See you at vonlive.tv slash Packard Pokesat.